In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to reprogram a key fob for a 2011 to 2014 Chevy Cruze. Um, pretty much Cruze's Sonics before they changed the body cell in 2015. If you have a key fob that looks something like that, you should be able to reprogram it using this method. And uh, so what you want to do first is after you've bought your key fob, the GM dealership's going to cut the blade for you because it is a laser cut key. And uh, after that, obviously, you have to get it programmed. And to do that, they'll charge you an extra 40 bucks or whatever it is in your area. But if you have a fob that works already like I do, then it's a very easy um, procedure to program the key fob. So what you want to do is you want to take your good key, put it into the ignition, and start your vehicle. Do that. Let it run for about five seconds here. Get my new key ready. You're going to shut the vehicle off. Put the new key in the ignition. And immediately turn it on. And the vehicle should start as this just did. So after you do that, Shut the vehicle off and the key works now. All the functions should work. Open the trunk. Yeah, the trunk popped. Lock works. And that's all it takes to program your key. So before you go and give the dealer your money, try this method out. And uh, like I said, as long as you have one fob that works this method should work out for you and this is actually something that a lot of gm vehicles used to um used to be that you can program the key fobs easily yourself if you have one good fob and if you don't have one fob well then unfortunately you might have to take it to the dealership because they'll have to use a tech 2 to program the key but hopefully that works out for you give it a shot and uh Give me a thumbs up if it helped you save a little bit of money. Thanks for watching, guys.